Hey everybody, Boom Boys here. We are goose hunting and duck hunting in a field in West Oklahoma on winter wheat. And we got John Barry, we got Grant and Jeremy with us. And we've already got our decoy set up. You can see out there, we got some geese, a few ducks out there. We got them set up in a U where they kind of go around because the wind's blowing this way, kind of where the sun's coming up over there. So we're hoping they're gonna land right into this. So the wind's blowing pretty hard this morning, about 12 to 15 miles an hour. Uh, so it's really, really chilly. It's about 32 degrees, probably about 20, probably 22, 25 degrees of wind chill. So it's about shooting time here in Oklahoma. You can shoot 30 minutes before sunrise. So we're about five minutes away from that. So we're gonna get tucked away in our blinds in here and see if we can't get some of these birds in. Hope you enjoy it, guys. Oh man, guys, we've been, we've been waiting here all morning, nothing. The, it's, these geese came out of nowhere, surprised us. Guys, right there, we nailed two of them. Oh my goodness. Oh man. What do you think, Grant? About a group of 10? But guys, they landed literally on the far end of our spread. Holy cow, they came out of nowhere. I think, I don't what do you think, man? Holding your first goose, bud. Look at that. Crack his neck. Yeah. All right, so yeah. is he alive? He's he was over there. There were some more. They came out He's of so nowhere. Soft. I was half window. asleep and then I just saw them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then I took, I should have hit the farm, but it was, it was really far. Yeah. You see how they landed, guys, too far away? They should have landed here. Yeah. Right? They landed there. They were way like on the there. far part, so they were kind of, it was kind of far, you know. You shot yeah. them. I don't know. I, don't, I, I took some cracks. I don't know if I got any. That's where you need a full choke to get it way out there. They came from right over here where the sun's coming up and they were down low. And I did, I heard them like literally just right there by the grass. And I didn't even have a chance. I, I tried to hit the camera button to record it and I didn't. Sorry you guys missed that, but hopefully we'll get another group in here. Man, it has been so quiet this morning. Nothing, no ducks, nothing. So hopefully we get another group coming in here. All right, so those are the only two geese that we got today. We got everything loaded up now. We're gonna go clean these and we're gonna see you in the kitchen. We're gonna cook these up. Here we are in the kitchen. I got them on my wife's kitchen table. I would not recommend that, but it was cold outside and I was just feeling a little wimpy. But now we are gonna get these two lonely geese and what we're gonna do is we're gonna split them open and we're gonna do a lot like we would do a duck or a dove. Now with the geese, we are only gonna fillet the breast out. And that is just for the time, your best bang for the buck. Now there's other ways to do it where you can get more meat, but for the time, this is gonna be the best way that you can get the meat out of a goose. So you're one gonna find the middle of the sternum right here in the goose. Just get over it with your fingers and start spreading it apart. Again, it gets a lot of feathers sometimes, but what you wanna do is you wanna get underneath that right there. If you get underneath that, most of the feathers stay on it. So you wanna be sure to get underneath that skin, just start peeling it back just like this. This one got shot right there. And I'm gonna get, tell you exactly what you need to do every time you see a bullet hole in one of these goose or a duck. So keep peeling this back. Got a little bit stiff, it's out there in the cold. Pull it back as far as you can. Get it nice away from all the meat. Just gonna make it easier. So as you can see here, there's a little bit of meat on the legs right here. But again, we don't mess with that. We're just gonna take the big bulk of this breast right here out. So I've got my fillet knife. I'm just gonna go right along the edge right here of the sternum, just like that. And then follow it down this breastbone right here. Just kind of like that. And just kind of find my way down it. Just like that. Just kind of like to get that off, just like that. I'm gonna throw that in the bowl. Get this other one. Now, in my opinion, geese are are better eating than duck. Um, but 
I think too it depends on the time of the year that you kill them and how you know where you kill them at in the United States and how far they've flown. We're way down here in Oklahoma uh, on their migration path, so I think sometimes they can get a little tough, both the geese and the duck. So not perfect, guys, but uh, for the most part, got pretty much all the meat off this sucker. There you go, my wife's trash can. She's gonna love me for that. Juice number two, lean over it. Oh, whoa! Again, it was kind of cold, so usually they'll split open pretty good if you do it when they're fresh. But just get underneath that big thing, get underneath that skin, so you don't have feathers flying everywhere. So his head's off because I rung it a little bit too hard on the field. You can pluck these like you would pluck a chicken. But again, that's a ton of work. Uh, we do that on the farm with chickens where we put them in a kind of this little tub and it plucks them, which is kind of a cool little thing. But if you see here, I mean, I'm doing it in the kitchen. Now look, guys, there's only a few feathers in here. So I can eliminate the evidence really quick before my wife gets in the kitchen. Get in here. I usually take little bites at a time. So I usually just kind of go start here, go down, kind of work my way down the breast here. Work my way down the breast. Guys, there's people out there that are a lot better at this than me. I have shot a lot of ducks, and this is just how I've done it. And and for the most part, the meat's it's 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 pretty good guys but it's not great and so if you want to spend extra hours hours getting every little bit man i respect you for that but i'm just gonna do what's the fastest and we get the most bang for our buck with this meat there we go look at this guys two geese and this is literally about the amount that you would probably have i don't know probably eight ducks maybe ten ducks about this meat we better go ahead and tie this up. I wonder how long it'll take our neighborhood cats to find this. So next, let's make some water over it. This is going to get some of the blood out. You'll see the water get really red here. And then we're going to start kind of picking away at it. You might want to put the drain on your sink. So when you're cleaning out the breast, of whether it be a goose or a duck, you want to see where the pellet went through the feathers into the meat, just like that, because it will carry feathers through that to the meat. You want to get in there and really pick away at it, dig your finger in there and scratch in there to get all those little bitties because it will pull some really, really fine feathers through there. And I've done that many, many times. You're taking a bite and you're getting a bite of feathers. So that's never pleasant. Especially when you're trying to win your wife over to eat the wild game. Geese are not near as bloody as ducks. If this was a duck right here, this water would still be red because I literally just put them in water and put them back in water after cleaning them. And so geese are not near as bloody as ducks. So you do not have to put them in water as long as I do with ducks. So right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this out since they're not bloody. I'm gonna take them out and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put them on a towel right here to let them dry off and get all of this moisture off of them. She caught me guys, look at this. Look what she's doing, she caught me before I even got started cooking and she's already cleaning the table. So, she's not too mad though. I eliminated the evidence, I eliminated, I eliminated most of the evidence. That's how you're carrying the trash out. <laughs> you don't miss much, do you? I was trying to hide it. Eyes on the back of my head, come on. So now I'm gonna tell you my secret, my trick to an amazing tasting goose or tuck and that is bacon grease. A lot of people will wrap duck and geese in bacon or in cream cheese with a jalapeno but I'm telling you guys have your wife save you bacon grease to fry your goose and duck in and it is amazing. I don't know what it is but this bacon grease frying it in it it just gets in there and it's unbelievable. Oh yeah. Uh-huh. Breadcrumbs, quick oats, grits, chili powder. You got buttermilk and two eggs. Salt. So after it's dry, I like to slice it in half. It's easier to cook. Just like that. Got your two pieces. Two geese, look at all that meat, unbelievable. I highly recommend a digital thermometer. Now 165 is what we're looking for. 
We're gonna stick that in there. We're good. Look at that. Unbelievable. Now this bacon grease is gonna make it really kind of sweet. I think this tastes amazing. I kind of like the grits a little bit sometimes. It gives it a little crunchiness to it. Goose is definitely not tender. You can taste a little gaminess to it. Again, if you have more time to prepare this, you can soak it in buttermilk. You can soak it in milk overnight. But for on the fly, this is unbelievable. Well guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, please sub to the Boom Boys. Be sure to check out our other videos. We have a lot of outdoor videos where me and my boys and my family, we're going fishing in lakes and we're out there on the farm. Thanks a lot guys and we'll see you on the next one.